Hello everyone, my name is Varnali Bhattacharya. I'm a consultant pediatrician and the lungs of the asthmatic children in my practice is actually the heart of my practice. Today I want to tell you about what is asthma and where do the two groups of medicines work. That's the reliever and controller. And you may be wondering as to why have I chosen this topic for today. That's because last week um, I read something online and I was a little dismayed and I thought uh, one needs to speak about it. And this was this, that uh, one of uh, the mothers, you know, a doctor mother, uh, had put on an online group uh, that uh, her child has been prescribed inhaled corticosteroid and she was resistant to starting the treatment. And, um, and because she had uh, so much of phobia and was it required at all? And isn't it okay just to give the reliever medicine? And a lot of people tagged me on that post and I thought I have a responsibility towards uh, the community at large uh, to let you all know as to what is the disease particularly in children and where do these medicines work. So before that, let me just show you the airway. So what is asthma really? Asthma is a disease of the smaller airways predominantly and the airways are in the lungs. And this is how a normal airway looks like. You see, this is the mucous membrane and you see these bands are actually the uh, muscular bands. Now, uh, you might frequently be hearing that asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease. So what does inflammation mean? Inflammation means redness and swelling. So these uh, children or patients who suffer from asthma, they have inflammation. Can you see this redness? Uh, this is how their airways look and this is how a normal airway looks. So you can see the passage of air through this is through and through. It is wider. So airway uh, the, from through the air where the air comes into the lungs goes out and through this now is it because of the narrowed airway because of inflammation that there is a problem no in one of my earlier talks i had said you know that asthma is a disease where there is genetic propensity and when these airways are exposed to triggers and i have an earlier talk about triggers in asthma that these airways which are inflamed because of genetic propensity and are exposed to triggers can go into spasm. Are you seeing what happens? So the muscle bands, they tighten, there, the inflammation is even more and there is mucus. So what happens? That the airways get really narrowed and these poor children or even an adult asthmatic, they find it very difficult to breathe. So what we then say that there is shortness of breath or there is a feeling of tightness in the chest or even they could wheeze or they get breathless. So what happens at that point of time? That they resort to reliever medication. So the reliever medication, it actually loosens out all these muscle band. It's tightened the airway and it opens out the airway so that the patient breathes better but reliever as you know is relieves works for that point of time what we should what should our endeavor be when we are treating asthma is that the inflammation should be so narrow rimmed more or less like this airway that exposed to triggers it doesn't become this Many of you are only used to bronchodilators. Dilate meaning opens the bronchus. Bronchus are the airways or bronchi are the airways. And, and then they kind of open it up and the child or the patient feels relieved. However, this is not the mainstay of therapy. The mainstay should be that these shouldn't reach this stage. So when I said bronchodilator, those are reliever medication. Anything that's for relief is short term. What's the mainstay of treatment? The mainstay of treatment is something that burns out this inflammation. 
So anything that burns out this inflammation or swelling should be anti-inflammatory. And anti-inflammatory drugs are the inhaled corticosteroids. Because we can access the airways, we give it in the inhaled form. Inhaled medication are the safest form of medication in asthma. And inhaled corticosteroids remains the mainstay of treatment. If you feel when your child has problems, you can just have a nebulizer at home and use some bronchodilator medicine, know you're doing great harm. Or you rush into the clinic where the doctor gives you know, inhaled uh, bronchodilator or also prescribes uh, oral steroid, that is also not right. We need to put them on inhaled corticosteroids, which are the anti-inflammatory drugs. And these have to be used for a long period of time, every day, twice a day to start with. And then it is for the doctor to step down gradually, but that stepping down doesn't happen in the next one week. And the inhaled corticosteroids take sometimes six weeks to kick in action. And initial period, there could be reliever medication that should be used. So the reliever medication, which are bronchodilators, should be used as and when required. When a patient who is on inhaled corticosteroids is needing more bronchodilator medication or reliever medication, that means the asthma is not well controlled. So please parents, do not resist the use of inhaled corticosteroids. When your doctor is convinced that this is asthma, at that stage you can talk to them. Uh, that is it asthma and is there a need for inhaled corticosteroids so talk it over with them probably my next talk is going to be in uh, the counseling of asthma where i do a talk on the five a's but today my main um, you know communication with you is that do not resist the inhaled corticosteroid. It is the mainstay of asthma treatment. Control medication is what your child needs because that is the anti-inflammatory medication. In children, most of the asthmatics are because of chronic inflammation. So please do not resist. If you have any issues, talk to your doctor about it before kind of or brushing it aside because you are actually depriving your child of a good quality of life and an uncontrolled asthma can affect the airways for the entire life. Thank you for hearing. Do listen to the other talks too. They will help your child and the family cope with asthma better. Thank you.